Hey, this is Rich Taylor with Transworld Motocross out here at Milestone Raceway riding the new 2018 FE 450 KTM. You know, it's pretty cool that a company can, can listen to what the race team, you know, says and, and, and watches what they do and actually puts it into production, you know. KTM's been doing it for quite a while now where they really are, are, are paying attention to detail and, and just hitting all the little things to make their bike just an incredible machine. Um, this 2018 FE is no different. I mean, it, it's, you know, my job is to criticize a bike and to, and to point out the flaws, the good points and the flaws. And, you know, this bike has so many things good going for it. It's, it's, it's amazing. Hankel is a company that, that the race teams all use in their transmissions. They've had them tune the transmissions and they do all that. They're coming stock with a Pankel transmission. It's just different coatings. It's little things like that. You actually feel it out on the track. Just shifting is like, it's like butter, you know, but, but in a good way. You, you actually can feel the gears, but it's still just so smooth. They've, they've taken the, the mass of the engine and and lowered everything to get the weight down low on the bike. So handling just isn't that much better than it was. Torsionally, they've changed the, the rigidity of the frame a little bit so that you can feel the, the character of the chassis to flex a little bit. They've stiffened it up torsionally a little bit. It just kind of gets you into the corner that much better. Motor-wise, it's, you know, it, it's not necessarily faster than, than the production 2018 bike, but it's, it's just got a really nice character to it. I rode it, I preferred the number one setting on, on, the, on the ignition. There's a one and a two. The two's a little bit more aggressive. Normally I like the aggressive setting. Today I like the number one setting. The initial connection to the tire is so good. Um, with the aggra aggressive mode on it, it just hits harder, which is really cool. And, and you know, on a sand track or a deeper track, I would love the number two setting. Suspension-wise, you know, if I want to try to pick apart this bike a little bit, I'm going to go with, you know, the, the front air fork. Um, I'm not a huge fan of air forks in general. This air fork has some positive things to it, but overall, it's a little bit um, still too loose feeling for me. I like a little bit more control, and, and it's, you know, it takes time to figure out how to get that out of an air fork. Shock, I ended up going with about 108 millimeters of sag. I, I went in a little bit on rebound to can just kind of make, give it a little bit more control. I had no issues with the shock at all. When you come into a corner and you slide forward, everything's a little bit more narrow, makes the bike feel lighter. Um, even though it's not with the motor character and, the, and just the, the, the new body work, the whole bike feels even lighter than it was and it was already incredibly light. Overall, the, the FE, the 2018 FE KTM, for a production bike, it's, it's pretty tough to beat, man. This thing is a really, really good package.